Now, Rosie, this is a meaty breakfast. This is the type of breakfast that I like to eat to give me the energy to get through the day. What do you think of that? So I'm going to be a bit hungry, I think, this no, morning, what? am I? Well, it depends if you want to continue. I'll get the defibrillator, shall I? If you want to continue yeah. on with this vegan or vegetarian type lifestyle that you've got, yes, you will go very hungry. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up some bacon. I've got some salami yep. here. And I've got some beautiful Kransky sausage. What I'm going to get you to do is grate the cheese over there. You've got it. And then, of course, I've got some eggs here. I want you to crack three eggs into here. Put some, yep. uh, some uh, tomato passata, the habanero, and some chipotle sauce, which I love. It's got a beautiful flavour. And some cream, some cooking cream. So what I'll do is I'll slice up this bacon to start with. Because in my book, you've got to start the day with plenty of protein. And bacon's got plenty of protein in it, hasn't it? It is. That is one of your five days, isn't it? There we go. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> Definitely. There we go. Now, I've got some bacon. I'm just going to shred that nice and uh, nice and fine like this. And I thought you would notice, maybe you didn't notice, that this is quite lean bacon that I'm using. I notice everything you do. There we go. Now, to start it up a little bit, what I've got is some salami. This is beautiful salami. Danish salami. You can see it's got a fine grain to it, nice and thin. A little bit of fat in there because that's what gives it flavour. Well, the thing uh, is, fats do fill you up as well, which is good for breakfast. There we go. From the nutritionist, fat is good. It fills you up. That means you eat less, doesn't it? There we go. Yeah, you I, like think that idea? Getting, I think we're getting there. We're getting there, yes. Yeah. Very, very slowly. And of course, for breakfast, you do need a sausage. What I've got is this Kransky sausage. And what I'm going to do with this is slice it nice and fine. I'll get the eggs going in here, yep, shall I? three eggs straight in there. And what I'll got do it. is I'll give you a bit of a hand. I'm going to put a little bit of tomato sauce. Now, what I do with the egg, we smear it on the outside of it, but I like to give it some flavour. A little bit of passata in there. It's just a, nice a idea. couple of drops of that in there. And of course, the chipotle sauce. Now, sometimes it's so thick, I just grab a little teaspoon and just spoon some of it out with a teaspoon and that's going to be hot enough if you want some sriracha chili is also fantastic on goes the lid now rosie i'm just going to get a little bit of this cream this is cooking cream yeah perfect for this what i like to do is put a little bit of cooking cream in there and that helps to make it nice and rich and luscious you could use some it's milk a if you want idea. it is lovely isn't it a now, bit of extra flavor in there flavor is the most important thing there we go you can do all the nutritionist part i do all the flavorsome <laughs> tasty part you do lovely flavorsome stuff as well now some salt in there and yep. a little twist of pepper. Rosie, I want you to grab your fork and whisk that up. You've got it. And while you're doing that, I'm going to grab my bowl here and the flour that's over there. There we go. The there three we go. of flour. Now, I'm using self-raising flour because that's what's going to give it a lovely lift. And this is sort of a scondo. It's something I've made sweet and savoury. And I'm going to add to that one and a half cups of sour cream. Now, normally when I make this recipe, I use cooking cream. Yep. But I'm just wanting a little bit of sourness, a little bit of uh, flavour. Yeah, that's so quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to use the sour cream. In it goes. Now, it's a little bit different, this recipe. So what I've got is a little bit of the cooking cream just over there just in case I need to add some more. Now I like it nice and sweet so I've got a, a tablespoon of icing sugar in it goes. I'll slide that lid over there and well, of course... You don't have to have that if you don't want to. No, but no. why would you not want icing well. sugar and some sweetness in your dough? A pinch of salt. Now all I do with this is mix it around nice and slowly and I just want to incorporate the cream and the flour together. It becomes a nice mm. soft dough, a little bit wet, but the idea is to get it incorporated so it just comes together nicely. Now at this stage here, if you think it might be a little bit dry, what you can add is a little bit of uh, milk or some water or yep. just a little bit of cream which we've got over there. But what I'm going to do is just stir this nice and gently. It takes a minute or so and we get a really nice little dough. Now, Rosie, it's rolled out nice and thin. You can leave it thicker if you want, but I'm going to roll it out nice and thin because I want to make a few of these. Yep. Now, what I'm going to do is grab your cheese, pop it into the egg mix there like okay. that. Okay. Grab the chives that I've already cut. In they go like that. And what I want you to do is stir that around Mix so it all it. binds in together. Otherwise, it's going to be really wet on top of here. Now, this while you so do that... This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Uh, something nice and fast. And what I'm going to do is grab some of this bacon that I've got over here, sprinkle that around. I've chopped it nice and fine so it goes all the way through the little, little rolls. Look at that. That's coming up beautifully. And the cheese and the egg holds together really well. Mm. Now, of course, I love salami and kransky. You can use anything you want. I mean, if you wanted to put mushrooms in here, chopped up spinach in veggie here. Veggie sausages. Veggie... You can't have veggie sausages. They have to have yeah, meat yeah. in it. Oh, it's illegal to call them sausages. Really? Oh, my God. What sort of place are we running here? <laughs> now, you can put the veggie sausages in there, mushrooms.
mushrooms, chicken in there, whatever you want, in it goes like that. Now, what we're going to do, Rosie, is yep. I'm just going to spoon this over the top, just carefully. I don't want it to be too wet, and that's why I've mixed it in with a cheese. It should hold up really, really nicely. I mean, it looks like a pizza at the moment, it doesn't does. it? It does. Looks I'm lovely. Intrigued. You just want to put it on a tray and put it in there. Now, this is the hard bit. What I'm going to do is fold it over. I'm going to use a little palette knife. You could yep. use a knife like this. You just get the start of it, fold it over like that, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes together. And as you roll it up, what you do is just sort of squeeze it together nicely so that it holds in place. There we go. That looks like it's about right. Now to bake it, what yep. I've got is a baking piece of paper like that. I don't scrunch it up like this and throw it in the bin. What I do is I scrunch it up so it sits in my pan. And you can use any sort of pan, a baking dish, cake dish, whatever you mm. want. These are great pans. It is non-stick, so I don't really need to put baking paper in there, but it is quite nice. Now what I'm going to do is cut it in half like that. And I've just got to do this quickly because I don't want any of that egg running out. And I sort of cut them about two to three fingers in width. There we go. Slide that along there. Just move that pan out of the way. We wouldn't use fingers when we were chopping yeah. as a marker. That would I think you should choose something better. It sort of uh, takes it out of whack. Now, we've got to be fairly fast with this because it will leak. Yep. But don't worry about the egg leaking because it helps to glaze it on the outside anyway. So what we do is grab these out like this and then pop them into oh, the centre. Wow. And you can see we've got lovely bits of bacon, sausage, yep. cheese, eggs, all the nice things we want. They go straight into the middle here like this. And then the offcuts here, I just fold them over and pop them on the side there. They're the bits that I use to taste to see if it's cooked. Fantastic. Now, this is going to go in an oven. You can see I've preheated the oven at 190 degrees Celsius. We're going to take this baby, pop it straight into the oven, watch it puff up and expand. All the bits and pieces will cook inside. This will be delicious. Now, Rosie, as you can see, it's been baking in the oven about 25 to 35 minutes. It, of course, mm. depends on how thick you like it. I've got it nice and thick, so it takes about 30 minutes. Now, you can see it's cooked up beautifully. It lovely. It does. Mm. My mouth is watering. It's almost foaming. I'm just, just dying to tuck into this one. Tear it apart. Now, this is the reason I do use the baking paper. Yep. Of course, you can see it doesn't stick at all. But with the baking paper, it allows me to pick it up like this and transfer it back and forwards, it, like a that crane. Makes my there we go. Life easier. I'm there into. Go. You I'm like into that. It. So what I do is I just peel that off like that. You can see it comes off wow. nicely. It's still steaming hot. I'm gonna have a little go with that dough there. Let's the, have a little taste. Well, the dough is really important. You can tell I've used the sour cream in there, which just mm. gives it that beautiful sour sort of flavour to it. You can use corking cream, you can use milk if you want, but the sour cream, I really think, makes it nice and rich and tasty and delicious. It's quite scone -esque. It is rich, actually. It, yeah. It's basically a rip-off of a scone recipe that I've turned into a delicious breakfast on the run. Really smart mm. idea. I'm into that. Cheesy, bacony, meaty goodness, all in one little package. This is so easy, isn't it? <laughs>